Uh, hey everyone, if you've uh, been searching for cold smoking meats or cold smoking cheeses, fish, anything like that, hopefully you've uh, stumbled across this video. And I um, just want to talk about what I what I uh, what I did here in my setup here. Um, for the past 15 years, I've been helping my father-in-law smoke meats. Uh, my father-in-law is from Bosnia and Herzegovina, and uh, you know, they take this stuff very seriously. Um, and even here, you know, this is North Carolina, you know, back in the day across the country, you know, this was before refrigeration. This was a way to uh, preserve meat. So it's kind of a pastime. Um, not many people do it here nowadays, but I've been doing it with him for the past, uh, you know, 15, 16, 17 years. So this year I decided to, to build my own. Um, and this is my setup here. And actually hung the meat yesterday and uh, today is the first first fire um, so the meat inside the smoker is salt cured uh, it was you know rubbed down pretty good with salt and some spices and uh, it's been hanging out in the refrigerator for about 15 16 days uh, lost a lot of liquid throughout that process um, I dumped the liquid out you know every few days or so and I rotated the meat as needed and, uh, and then last night, I just came out here and I hung it up, kind of let it air dry overnight. And uh, today started a fire, so. I had this table, uh, this table I built a couple years ago, actually. And, um, you know, I had, a, I had a hole in the table. I, I purposely left a, a space in the table for like cooler, you know, you could put, it's a bar, it's a bar table, it's a bar cart. And uh, I left, I left a hole there for, um, you know, put a cooler in uh, when you're out here. Put a cooler, fill it up with ice, put your beer, whatever, out here. And uh, decided to just build my smoker on top of the table. And that's what I've done. And I'm using a, a Weber to go, uh, or Weber Go Anywhere grill, actually, uh, that I've had for a while. I'm using that as my firebox. And uh, I built the smoker, and I just attached some aluminum duct there. And that's how the smoke's traveling to the to the smoker. Uh, I mean, the smoker's not perfect, but, you know, I think it's, it's you know, it'll definitely do the job. There's always room for improvement. Uh, on the side here, uh, this is an internal thermometer. There's a there's a probe on the inside there, and there's, there's a hole. And uh, so you can see we're running about not quite 60 degrees on the inside, which is, which is great. Um, I put a roof, um, put a roof on there. I've got a I've got a damper here if the airflow is too strong. I wasn't really sure how it was going to be, but I can control the airflow from back here uh, or from the firebox. And yeah, let's uh, open it up and see see the meat inside. I've got pork loin. I've got a uh, one rack of pork ribs that I couldn't have. I've got uh, some ribeye that I cut in pieces, and uh, I've got some beef back ribs, uh, which was, came off of the ribeye. So this is just measuring the uh, temperature on the outside here, temperature and humidity. And I have one of these on the inside as well, because I want to try to control the humidity if I can, or at least monitor the humidity. Um, vortex there there we go all right so here's the pork loin just hanging out and then the ribs across the center and then the beef over here and uh i weighed a few of them for quality control um it's important that you want to know the initial weight and the final weight of the meat um and i'm looking at about uh, 35, 40% reduction in weight. And that's when I know it's safe and it's it's good to go to eat. This stuff's gonna be great for slicing. You know, you slice it thin and uh, you know, you just snack on it. It's better than beef jerky. Um, and it lasts, you know, it lasts a while under refrigeration or freezer. And after it's done, you vacuum pack it, put it in the freezer. And then when you think you need some, you just put it out in the refrigerator, thaw it out in the refrigerator, slice it up, and, you know, serve it. Serve it on a platter with some cheese and some olives. It's good stuff. It's delicious. Um, 
but yeah, as you can see, yeah, I've got my, my temperature gauge in here and humidity, humidity level. Humidity looks like it's about 82 right now and temperature is uh, about 52 degrees, 54 degrees. So doing good. This is day one. I'll check in periodically and uh, let y'all know how it's going. Thanks for watching. If you like it, subscribe and like the video. Thanks.